You just got your CrossNet Pickleball set, but how do you play? Let me show you. To start the game, you have to serve. Serves are done below the waist, never over. The player in the fourth square serves from out of bounds to the square across from them, which is the second square. Once the ball bounces once in the second square, the game is live. In CrossNet, your entire square is considered the kitchen. This means that although you're allowed to play in it, you must let the ball hit your side before you can hit it yourself. CrossNet Pickleball is all about practicing that kitchen finesse and those dink shots. Yes! Scoring in CrossNet Pickleball is simple. Played like four square, when a player gets eliminated, they should return back to the number one square. The goal? Get to the four square. You can only score points when you're in the four square and you win that serve. Games are played to 11 and you must win by at least two points. Here's a brief list of faults. You cannot hit the ball below the net or through the net posts. The ball must land in your square first before returning it to another square. And you cannot hit the net on a serve. If you hit the net on the serve and it bounces into the number two square, you get to reserve. But if it bounces into any other square, you lose that rally and have to return to the number one square. If you have more than four players, the eliminated player creates a line to enter the number one square. When eliminated, they go to the back of the line. Hitting the ball around the net is totally acceptable. You don't have to hit it over the net. However, it must bounce in the opponent's square for it to count. If it hits the side of the net after bouncing in the square, the rally goes to the hitter. However, if it hits the net directly without bouncing, the hitter loses that rally. A few last things to know. The paddle can switch from hand to hand at any time. Two-handed shots are allowed. You cannot poach the ball, so don't hit it when it isn't yours. And lastly, double hits must occur in a 100% unintentional, continuous, single direction stroke by one single player. If the stroke or hit made is deliberately not continuous or not in a single direction, it is considered a fault.